On this Ask Katrina, the question is, should I stay with my current company, Katrina, or should I move on to something else? Well, I mean, we just watched the great resignation happen, you know, through COVID. And so we know that a lot of people made the decision to go versus stay. We also see right now the things that are happening. People are saying that they participated in the great resignation, but now they're calling it what? The great regret, because now people are saying they regret it. They now currently regret leaving their previous employer, their previous company, their previous positions for a multitude of reasons, right? And so the answer to this question is really not should you, you know, yes, you should stay or yes, you should go. The the ultimate question is, why are you questioning it in the first place? That's really the question at hand. Why are you asking yourself, should you stay or go? Is there something happening that is holding you back professionally? Is there something happening that goes against who you are at your core? Right. Maybe there are some events that are happening in the organization that you do not agree with. OK. If you're being held back. If you're not able to use your gifts, if something's happening that doesn't align with you as a person, or let's say you're seeing the writing on the wall and you don't think that the organization is going to be around in a year or two, right? Those are great examples of why you would probably consider leaving. Now, are those the, are those the only reasons? No, of course not. But those are the typical reasons why, and those would be very valid reasons why. You should be asking yourself, should I stay or go? Okay. If you're not being developed professionally, if you're not able to use your gifts, then you're stagnant, you're frozen. And everything that we're doing throughout life is based upon our ability to grow and, and be in situations that allow us to grow. A lot of people are focused on the end point. Remember this, the end point of life is what? It's death. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm not running as fast as I can to get there. So really, the, the focus of life is not the end point. For us, it's the progress. And so when we're not progressing, when we're not growing, we're stagnant. And that almost feels like death, right? And so that's why you may be feeling like it's the death of your career, so to speak. If you're not growing, if your career is not progressing, and if you're not able to use your gifts, the things that make you unique, that you bring to the table in a way that no one else can, then I would encourage you at that point to say, yep, you probably should go look around for something else. Just look. Don't necessarily make the decision to go, but allow yourself to look around. Let's see what's happening out in the world, in your industry and in your space that would allow you to move forward and, and get these things that you're currently missing out on in the position and in the organization that you're in, okay? Now, the other thing that I will say about that is before you start looking externally, I would encourage you to look internally. It could very well be your current direct leader. It could very well just be the team that you are on that is putting you in a position where you feel as though you're not growing, opportunities aren't there, or you're not allowed to use your gifts and talents. If you move to another piece of the organization, you may very well be allowed to do that. So all I'm telling you is look at all of your options. Let me step back one step. What did I teach you before I just told you to look at all your options? I taught you to ask yourself really why you're questioning leaving or staying. What is your motivating factor for looking around at another company? Again, if it's a lack of growth, a lack of the ability to use your personal talents, or something is seriously happening in the organization that's putting the organization at risk, or it just doesn't align with who you are as a person, all of those reasons are very valid reasons that you should look around, okay? The last two would be reasons for you to definitely look externally and not internally. Something's happening that doesn't align with you as a person. If you think the company is not going to be around, that's when you've got to look outside of the current organization, okay? But that's how you differentiate. If it's just because you're bored or, you know, you just think you could accept a new challenge, those are all great reasons, okay? Those are justifiable. I'm not here to judge you. I can't do that. Any reason that you come up with is justifiable. It just means, though, that you might look back and think, ah, oh, why did I leave? Why did I make that decision? I regret making this decision. I should have stayed where I was. The grass was not greener, okay? 
What I'm teaching you to do is look and validate your why. Why do you want to look around? What's the intention? And what you would like to do, if at all possible, is have your justification be one where it's not about the grass being greener. It's really about your development or your ability to sustain your career if the organization's going downhill or for your ability to simply thrive in an environment that aligns with who you are as a person. Those are all reasons that are beyond safe that will typically lead. I mean, in all of my career and all all the women that I've coached, I've never had anyone come back and say, ah, I regret making this change if they made it due to one of those reasons. Okay. But anytime we're chasing money, anytime we're chasing a title, anytime we're chasing, right, those things, and we don't do our research and that's our motivating factor, we're going to be okay. We're going to get those things. You can definitely get those things. There's nothing wrong with wanting those things. But it's got to be the right fit that fits you at your core. It's got to support you and help you grow. And it's got to allow you to use your gifts and talents. If you're leaving for a reason that's not one of the fundamentals that we just talked about, okay, It maybe it is money. Maybe it is a title. Maybe it is whatever, right? The significance thing that's driving you. And all of that's okay. That can't be the only reason, okay? It, it can't. It, it It has to be supported by this new role fulfilling all those other pieces. What does that mean? What that means is if you're going to make more money, that's fine, but you've got to step into a role that allows you to grow, allows you to use your gifts, and that aligns with you as a person. It must do those three things. If the new role does not do that, then you're going to have regrets. Okay? So that's the the long way around the answer here. The first thing is seek to understand why are you asking yourself this question? And there's no wrong answer. There's just an answer that may lead you down a path you don't want to go and you will be, you know, feeling unfulfilled instead of happier. So understand your why. Then go and look internally if it makes sense to do so and look externally. And if you look and you decide to make a shift, make sure that wherever you go helps you grow, lets you use your gifts and talents. And then aligns with you as the person that you are. If you can do those things, then no matter where you land, you're going to be happy and you're going to be satisfied. And it would be the right decision for you.